Hey, what's going on everybody? This is John from Volkswagen Planet coming to you from a beautiful day here in Tampa, Florida where it's currently 83 degrees here in the shade. What we're looking at is the 1968 Auto Stick. For those of you who have been watching the channel, uh, you guys have known that this car has been in my life for about the last 17 years, but you can check out those uh, videos. I just had to push it out of the garage for the first time in about seven years so I can show you what we're doing on today's video. So we're gonna pan around. This is the 1972 Super Beetle. Um, whole list of videos on this. This has again been an on and off again video, or on and off again project for the last two years. And today we are working on the brakes to get it one step closer to making this thing uh, street worthy. I'll give you guys an update. Well, let's do an update real quick and uh, we'll get to the, the brakes. So what we're going to, what I got to still need to do is I still need to replace the oil cooler seals up there. You can tell I got the oil leak still need to do the rear um, or the crank pulley seal. That's still leaking. I just happened to clean that up. Started to install the J pipes and the exhaust. And I, when I place the order, I need to replace, I need to get an extra stud because on this situation, I got this bolt won't come off. So, and this stud's a little bent. So I just decided to go ahead and when I replace or when I place the next order to finish up the brake line, I'll uh, get that stud replaced and finish this job completely. But let me show you what I um, experienced while attempting to start the brake situation. And I'm sure all of us uh, have experienced this, maybe to this not severity, but let's just take a look under the uh, Super Beetle here. Okay, so let me get a good angle here. So what we're looking at here that's the master cylinder, and this little line right here is the main line that goes to the back of the car. So this is supposed to hook up to there, but you can tell it's been clipped. And uh, this car, again, was uh, used for 356 Porsche, uh, 356 Porsche Speedster kit car. So the last owner cut that, and... I don't know why he did that, but uh, let me show you what is an in-depth to uh, replace that. And that's the uh, main topic of today's video. So not only do I have to get the grommet that goes in between the frame and the body, but let me show you how much of a pain in the butt this thing is going to be re to replace. So the line comes from the firewall, comes up under the under the uh, brake pedal assembly, all the way to the tunnel, right here, and runs with just basically clips. All it holds that in is clips, and uh, you just pull those tabs back, and the line comes out. You say, okay, well, that's, that, this job's not too bad. So it goes out here, back out to the outside of the car. Again, I need to get this little grommet here because you don't want this thing moving back and forth and possibly rubbing that line prematurely because this job is going to be a, a bear enough to uh, to do. But let me show you how tight this uh, job is to replace this line when it comes back out of the car. All right, so let's get under the car here. Now, if you look right there you will see that's the line that we need to undo right there to break that line loose to connect the rear line the main line to the rear to the uh the rear the rear lines this one goes this way and the other line goes to the other switch but let me show you on the uh the uh, parts car out there, so we got a nice clean uh, view of what we're looking at. All right, boys and girls, so this is the 1968 bug that has the extended frame under it, but it's a really good car to show you right now 
in a wide open area what you got to get involved with before you actually do the job. So right here would be where the master cylinder is. So the brake line would go through right here. It comes down the firewall, like we like I already said, comes along the tunnel, and it picks it up. You can see this one was cut, but you can see right here where it starts to pick up again on the frame, comes through the frame again, like I showed you on the Super Beetle, comes out, and right there is where the uh, where I showed you under the left rear of the car. So what we're gonna do is, let me get below here. So what you, so the best way of doing this, and you have to use a line wrench when you do this job. So just, if you use a regular wrench, you're gonna just strip everything out. So. There's the line that we need to replace. It's 11 millimeter line wrench. So that's what we got to do to replace that line. But here's a tip and a trick to do this job. When you do, when you get the um, parts in the mail or your part supplier, the main line is going to come in a situation like this. And what I've watched a couple of YouTube videos, and if you check out a channel called Slade's VW, uh, Slade's Beetle, S L A D E S Beetle, he uh, he has done this job on a '73 or '74 Super Beetle, but from what I understand and what I've been seeing, it's just about the same. And what he did is he took a socket because you got to rebend these lines out. But he took a socket, and his tip was to use it as a bender to help bend your lines so check his channel out i still got to order a couple parts to um complete this job but that's what we've been doing here on the 1972 super beetle um i'm sorry this video is kind of all over the place but that's what we've been doing that's what's been going on so probably going to take a couple days to get the parts so we'll do a couple videos between now and then stay safe God bless you. God bless your family. God bless our great nation, the United States of America. Stay safe, stay kind, and have a great day, guys.